Have you ever felt so overwhelmed and stressed out with everything that fibromyalgia has to offer? Do you ever feel like just running far, far, far away? I know that I have for the past couple of days, so today I wanna share with you five things that I do daily to help me manage my stress and stay ahead of the roller coaster ride. But first, please make sure you subscribe to the channel, click the bell to get notified when new videos are uploaded. I have spent years overwhelmed and stressed out with not only just fibromyalgia, but learning to live a life with fibromyalgia. And quite honestly, I had no earthly idea how to manage my stress in a healthy manner. But I knew that something needed to change or else I was gonna completely lose my sanity. So here's five things that I started implementing every single day to help me manage my stress and stay ahead of the roller coaster ride. The very first thing that I needed to learn to do was to become selfish. I had been spending so much time on everybody else's needs and what they wanted and desired, it was draining me and it was taking something from me that I didn't have to give in the first place, and that was energy. So I learned to start saying no to those that only wanted to spend time with me because they needed something from me. I needed to start putting me first so that I could choose to help other people when I wanted to. Number two, I quiet my mind every single day for at least 15 minutes. I do this so that I can let go of yesterday and start a new day fresh. And instead of focusing and being mindful on how my body feels and what this illness does, I focus on how I want my day to be, how grateful I am that I'm here to start a new day, and I start each day this way. And it was challenging at first because my mind wouldn't be quiet and I really honestly didn't know how to quiet my mind. But there are great videos out there on YouTube that will teach you mindfulness and meditation, but it definitely has been a huge tool for me to help manage stress and pain. Number three, I exercise daily. Years and years ago, I had some doctors tell me, hey, you need to start yoga, and I passed them off because I thought, what in the world is yoga gonna do for my pain? So I just let that go. But it wasn't until about a year and a half ago that I decided to give it a go. And I am so thankful that I did because it helps me release those painful knots that we get all over our body from stress and from illness. So it helps stretch those out. It helps me sleep better and it's fantastic for my nervous system and it helps keep that anxiety at bay. Number four, I focus on gut health every single morning. I take a prebiotic and a probiotic. I make sure to watch what I eat each day, avoiding dairies, sugars, and glutens because those can add some upset to the stomach. So I focus on good foods for my gut, take those supplements, and make sure that I drink plenty of water throughout the day. And last but not least, number five, I pamper myself every single day, whether that's a hot Epsom salt bath, giving myself a wonderful foot massage with some peppermint oil and some coconut oil, a facial, spending time with a friend or loved one having coffee, or just grabbing a quick bite. I make sure that I spend time doing what brings me joy every day. I find that one little thing and I focus on that and it does help melt the day away. If you enjoyed this content today, you can connect with me further on Facebook at In Spite of Fibromyalgia Support Group. It's closed group full of positive support and information. Also subscribe, click the bell, give me a thumbs up or a thumbs down and let me know how you're enjoying the content and please share these videos because you never know who needs a lending hand. See you next time.